Did you know that the surface of a tennis court can dramatically change the way the game is played? Or that the world's oldest tennis court is still in use today? Stick around because we're about to serve up some amazing facts about tennis courts that will surprise you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our awesome content. Today we're diving into a topic that's as fascinating as it is essential for every tennis enthusiast out there. Yep, you guessed it, we're talking about tennis courts. From their history to the intricate details of their construction, and some mind-blowing facts you probably didn't know, we've got it all covered. So grab your rackets and let's get started. Section 1. History of Tennis Courts Let's kick things off with a little history lesson. The origins of tennis courts can be traced back to 12th century France, where a game called Jeu de Palme was played. The ball was originally struck with the hand, hence the name which means Game of the Palm. Eventually, rackets were introduced, and the game evolved into what we now know as tennis. Fun fact, the oldest tennis court still in use today is located at Hampton Court Palace in England. Built in 1530, it has witnessed centuries of tennis history and remains a testament to the game's enduring appeal. Section 2. Types of Tennis Court Surfaces Now, let's talk about the different types of tennis court surfaces. There are four main types, grass, clay, hard, and artificial grass. Each surface affects the game's speed and bounce, and players often have preferences based on their playing style. Grass courts, like the ones at Wimbledon, are known for their fast pace and low bounce. They're great for players with a strong serve and volley game. Clay courts, seen at the French Open, offer a slower game with a high bounce. This surface favors baseline players who are skilled in long rallies. Hard courts, such as those at the US Open, provide a balanced playing field. They offer a consistent bounce and medium pace, making them suitable for all playing styles. Finally, we have artificial grass courts, which mimic natural grass but require less maintenance. They're popular in regions where maintaining a natural grass court is challenging due to weather conditions. Section 3. Construction of a Tennis Court Ever wondered how a tennis court is built? Let's break it down. The construction of a tennis court involves several layers, each serving a specific purpose. First, we have the sub-base, which is usually made of compacted gravel or crushed stone. This layer ensures proper drainage. Next comes the base layer, typically concrete or asphalt, providing a stable foundation. On top of this, a surface layer is applied, which varies depending on the type of court being built, be it grass, clay, or hard. For hard courts, the surface layer is often an acrylic coating that offers durability and the right amount of grip. Clay courts require a fine layer of crushed stone or brick, which needs regular maintenance to keep it in top condition. Section 4. Famous Tennis Courts Around the World Let's take a trip around the world and visit some of the most famous tennis courts. First stop, Wimbledon in London, known as the Cathedral of Tennis. Wimbledon's grass courts are legendary. Wimbledon is the oldest tennis tournament in the world and its pristine grass courts have seen some of the most iconic matches in history. Next, we have Roland Garros in Paris, home of the French Open. These clay courts are renowned for their challenging play and have been the stage for countless memorable matches. In the US, the Arthur Ashe Stadium at the US Open in New York is the largest tennis stadium in the world with a seating capacity of over 23,000. Its hard courts are a favorite among players and fans alike. Down under, the Australian Open's Melbourne Park features state-of-the-art hard courts, including the iconic Rod Laver Arena. This venue is famous for its retractable roof, ensuring that matches can continue regardless of the weather. Section 5. Interesting Facts and Records Now for some fun facts and records. Did you know that the longest tennis match in history lasted 11 hours and 5 minutes? It took place at Wimbledon in 2010 between John Isner and Nicholas Mahut. Another fascinating fact is that the fastest serve ever recorded in a professional tennis match was by Sam Groff, who hit a staggering 263.4 kilometers slash age, 163.7 miles per hour, serve in 2012. And here's a quirky one. Tennis balls were originally white, 
It wasn't until 1972 that the now iconic yellow tennis balls were introduced, making them more visible to TV viewers. Section 6. Maintaining a Tennis Court Maintaining a tennis court, especially grass and clay courts, requires a lot of work. Grass courts need regular mowing, watering, and rolling to keep the surface even and playable. Clay courts need daily sweeping and watering to maintain their texture and prevent them from becoming too hard or dusty. Hard courts, while lower maintenance, still need regular cleaning and resurfacing every few years to keep them in top condition. Section 7. The Science Behind Tennis Courts Let's get a bit scientific. The interaction between the tennis ball and the court surface is crucial for gameplay. The surface texture affects the ball's bounce, speed, and spin. Grass courts cause the ball to skid and stay low, while clay courts increase the ball's friction, resulting in a higher bounce. Hard courts provide a predictable bounce, making them a favorite for many players. Section 8. Innovations in Tennis Court Technology Tennis court technology has come a long way. Modern courts now incorporate advanced materials and construction techniques to improve playability and durability. We're seeing innovations like shock-absorbing layers in hard courts, which reduce the impact on players' joints and new synthetic materials for clay courts that offer better consistency and lower maintenance. These advancements not only enhance the playing experience, but also ensure that courts can withstand the rigors of professional play and changing weather conditions.